In this video, we're going to take a look at using a light modifier called the Cylinder Omni Softbox. It's also known as a space light, and I'll show you examples of how to use it. Let's get started with assembly. Angler makes the Cylinder Omni Softbox that I'm using in this video. It collapses nicely into this small bag. I'll be attaching it to my Godox VL150 LED cob light on a counterweighted boom arm connected to a light stand. First, remove the reflector from the Bowens mount on the light. Click the lock and turn to release. Next, open the zipper at the bottom of the cylinder. Then insert the reflector through the opening. Then push it through the top of the cylinder like this. Then tighten the drawstring. Finally, attach the reflector to the light. Just insert it and twist. It will lock in place. The reflector holds the cylinder by hanging from it. You can zip up the bottom of the cylinder now. There are other cylinder softbox options available for lights that don't have a Bowens mount. I'll leave a list of links to them in the description below this video in case you want to check them out. I also purchased two optional skirts that attach to the cylinder. Using just one skirt will go around half of the cylinder. You simply use included clips to attach the skirt to the cylinder. The skirt is good for controlling light spill if you want your light to be more directional. And because the inside of the skirt is silver, it intensifies the light output, which is also great. If you use two skirts, you can completely block light coming out of the sides of the cylinder. Now using two skirts, light only comes from the bottom of the cylinder, which can sometimes be handy. I'll demonstrate that later. Now that I've shown you how to set up this light modifier, let me show you some ways to use it. Example 1. Bringing up ambient light levels in a room with the cylinder. First, let's take a look at our subject sitting in the chair with no lighting. We can obviously do better than this. The lamp on the table is not enough. I placed a Godox VL150 LED light near the camera and turned it on. This will be our key light. The shot looks better, but the lighting is a little hard. Notice the hard shadows on our subject's face. Also notice the small catch light in the subject's eyes. A catch light, by the way, is simply the highlight of a light source reflected off of the surface of the eye. There's nothing wrong with using hard lighting, of course, but let's try to make the light softer and the catch light in the eyes bigger. To do this, we must make the light source bigger. So I'll place a round collapsible diffuser in front of it. Now the light source is much bigger. You'll notice that the shadows are much softer and the catch lights are much bigger. This is often a more flattering look. Of course, the choice is yours. If we want a less contrasty shot, we can add a fill light to fill in the shadow side of the subject's face. On the opposite side of where our key light is, next to our subject, I will place a white card clipped on a stand. This fill light reduces contrast on our subject's face. Next, we will place our cylinder softbox in the middle of the room behind our subject out of camera frame. If I turn on the light, you can see that we can bring up the ambient light all over the room because of the 360 degree beam spread from the cylinder. You can see why these are often referred to as space lights. They fill the space with soft light. We can add more contrast to the shot by dimming it. This makes it more dramatic. The choice is up to you. The cylinder also created a nice backlight on our subject. Example 2. Using the cylinder as a key light. We are no longer using the cylinder to light our background, so instead we will use a VL150 LED light on a stand aimed at the background of the shot. 
To add some shadows, we will place a tree branch in front of it. Our key light near the camera is now the cylinder. To control light spill, I added one skirt, which wraps around half of the cylinder. The light from the cylinder is very soft and flattering, and creates nice catch light in our subject's eyes. To soften the shadows on the unlit side of our subject's face, I'll add a white card clamped on a stand. This acts as fill light again. You don't have to use fill light if you don't want to. It's a creative choice. Example 3. Using the cylinder as an overhead light. For this next example, we hung our cylinder on the boom and placed it directly above our subject. To control light spill, we added both skirts around the cylinder. Now, the only light coming from it comes from the bottom. This is not a flattering look on our subject, but it's very dramatic, like an interrogation scene. You can't see the subject's eyes. It's mysterious. If we want flattering overhead light, move the light toward the camera and away from the subject, so that the subject's eyes will be lit. This looks pretty good. If we want to reduce the shadow under the subject's chin, you can place the white bounce card aimed up at the subject. Place it just out of frame. It's just another look you can create using a cylinder light modifier. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. I really like using the Cylinder Omni Softbox. It's an affordable light modifier that can be used in many ways. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.